But this came in with the package for, for us to take a look at together, which is the Iron Man Silver Centurion. And I am going to do what, what normally I would consider sacrilege. But I only do this with the toys I get from Diamond nowadays. And I do keep the boxes, but I'm actually going to open it. So on the rest of my walls back here where you can't see is boxed toys. I was displaying them forever. And um, I was buying them while the kids were young. You know, so while they were little, I was picking up all those old Marvel Legends. So I've got Marvel Legends on the wall that are like 25 years old now, 30 years old. My kid's 27, my oldest one. So, you know, as soon as they came out, I was like, oh, shit, I got to get these. And my wife was kind enough to let me pick them up. I'm using this scalpel. Yeah, there's no easy way of opening this without ripping it up. No, there's no easy way, but there is a better way I have found. You just got to be very, very patient. And, and uh, you got to have one of these scalpel, what you call it. All right, let's see if I got it. I probably didn't. I wasted all that time. Is it exact though? It's like, it's like uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's one of these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah. I, I'm, see? I'm a professional. Uh, Toy guy. And I'm only, I'm saying that before I get the box open. I shouldn't have said shit. Huh? I'm probably going to fuck the box up now. I just did it. Way to go, Mark. Dude, that was, yeah. That's all right. I mean, with the statues, I came to the conclusion that I need to display them all. I have to have them under display. This is cool. Okay. Yeah. All right, so this is extremely displayable. Um, for those of you who can't see or can see over there, it's got this little tiny plastic base piece that sits on the ground here. And um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to let you see that because the, uh, the package has several different hands that you can put in, but they slid out of my little hand holder here. And they did that in the box, which is the other reason I'm opening this, Mark. Yeah. Because, uh, mine, it was... Mine doesn't, mine doesn't move. Yeah, see? Mine was all moving inside the package. It was like, hey, we know where this is going. So we'll just open this up. Now, this is the hardest part, I think, about um, doing any kind of unboxing where the damn toys are concerned. You, you need to get, like, scissors and snip everything there's no way you can take your little fingers and do this three thousand right. times in the back here and actually have a um so i'm not going to at the moment <laughs> here's what i'm going to do because i've got them out of the box and we can talk about them intelligently here we can yeah. see first and foremost that there is three portraits uh that you can switch off to there's the tony stark head which let me see if i can get in tight on that one there you guys can see that one there a little closer a little better there we go good tony cool. stark it's a good tony stark too. all right tony stark likeness here then we got the sort of silver centurion face that it comes on with stock and i'm not sure where the green came from there on that one you mark mckenna is going to have to explain that one to us and then we have more of the uh the classic that's the one i would term the classic Iron Man Silver Centurion face. For those of you who don't know, uh, in the older days, Iron Man could not open his mouth. Okay, it was just a slit, and you just he just talked through the damn slit. Nowadays, that whole thing pops open because we're much cooler and technologically uh, proficient. So it comes with that. It comes with some laser blasts. It looks like these are coming off the bottom of his hands. So you know he'll be doing his repulsor blast through both his feet. And his hands up here. I gotta be honest with you though, Tony. The the one on the one on the left of him where you were just pointing at looks like he's giving the middle finger. <laughs> it does. Hold on a second. <laughs> I think that's the part that you stick inside. That you stick inside the figure. This piece right here. It does look like a middle finger. Yeah. I swear that's not a hand. <laughs> right. Right. Well, that's the first thing I saw when I opened and looked at it. You know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to say about the figure itself, I like the looks of it. It's a little, I don't know if you see the back here, Mark. Yours is in package, so you can't see this here. He's got this sort of bulbous jetpack thing happening on the back side of the figure here. Right. Something else I am just not familiar with um, him having sort of a jetpack. And if you look, actually, it's tied to the front of the figure right here. 
So this buckling system that you see on his shoulders, you see there's like a, a, a buckle here that goes over to the back. That's holding this piece in place. It's all one piece on the figure. I just don't know what the hell it is. It looks like this is how he flew or I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, does that buckle come off? Is that? No. It was solid, huh? Yeah, yeah. It was put on there with the figure. Not a fan of that face, man, that they put on him. Yeah, I don't know what the green is from. I was hoping you were going to be able to straighten me out on that. I, I don't know. Man. Maybe <laughs> He's like, no. No, I, you know, <laughs> I've never seen that on anything Iron Man that I've worked on. And, um, you know, I mean, I, you know, this is my stuff here. I, can you even see that or no? Your, your, your uh, pumpkin jack is... There you go. Yeah, we go. That's what I want to see. Yeah. I want to see the Mark McKenna work. That's what so, I'm talking about. What was cool about this collection is I got the back cover with the Hawkeye. Oops. There you go. Is that your back cover? That's your back yeah, cover. Yeah, yeah. It was the cover to uh, Iron Man 320-something or 330-something, but they used it as a back cover for this collection, which is nice. So yeah, it's really I have cool. about 100 pages in here, which is cool, too. That so. is... A legacy of work, my friend. A legacy of work. You know, so, it's funny. I had a guy who, um, uh, a retailer who, who I asked him if he could get me a couple copies of it. He said, yeah, I'll charge you 50% off well cover, which is basically, you know, what he pays for it. Uh, and then I got home from uh, a vacation and then Marvel sent me one too. So I had, now I have three of them. <laughs> you're like, damn it. And I paid for one of them. And I paid, yeah, I paid for two of them, but, paid you know, for two of them. $50 books, you, know? you didn't know, man. You were you were hedging your bets as to whether or not they were actually going to send you a copy there. You didn't know for sure, you know. Yeah, you so, don't know. You don't, you don't, you, sometimes you just don't know. So it looks like he comes with the fist balled up, but he's got this sort of gripping hands one here. He's got this one where he's doing this gripping motion on the repulsor here. Actually, and then one that has sort of, it's like it, it, it's an open... Repulsor hand. I'm not sure you can see that. Can you see that, Mark? Yeah, I do. I see it, yeah. So those can get switched out. So you've got a total of uh, four, uh, three sets of hands, excuse me, three sets of hands, three different well, portraits. Well, the one time would be four then, wouldn't it? Uh, no, there's three. There's, there's two sets down here, and then one he's, one he's got on his arms. Oh, shit, no, you're right. There's this two. These ones down here. Yeah. That's another set. So you're right. There's four. There's four sets of, uh, unless we count these, which, again, that could be five. Oh, that's true, too. The one with the middle finger. Yeah. The, the middle finger ones are the five. So, um, And then, of course, you see this, this pole right here, which is basically meant to fit directly into this plastic unit. And then yeah. there's, a, there's a little grip part on the end of it that pokes into the back of the Iron Man figure that holds them up. So, so you can pose him and uh, and there you go. So I have a question for you. Shoot. You display him on the display the display uh, piece they give you. Uh -huh. What do you do with all the accessory stuff? You put them in a junk drawer? Thank you. So this is one of the big reasons I haven't gotten into the ones called Hot Toys. Um, because I have, I, I, and why I have so many statues around. Because I am generally speaking not a fan of having a bunch of cargo uh, that let's be real about it. If you have like just three of these figures, you could have like 16 pieces just laying around. And then, so I, I met um, Scott Zilner. I'm, not sure, I'm sure you've met him before. Um, at this, at, you know, we did a panel at the Fayetteville Comic Con, and I asked that question of the panel. I was like, guys, what what do you do with all the extra shit? And they all have drawers, drawers, and drawers. I'm like. Yeah, but you guys just like a bunch of loose shit just everywhere. What do you do with that? Some of these guys go as far as categorizing these things and then putting portraits. And Dude, I, I, I like to draw. I, I, I like to watch movies. I like to look at my statues. I don't want to make it work. It's not. It can't be work for me. All right? So the minute it comes work, is a pain in the ass. So me personally, uh, to answer your question, uh, I'll probably put a portrait on it, and that's the portrait that will likely stay in perpetuity it's yeah. not it's probably not going to change from where i sit so yeah, 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 yeah. 
So, I mean, and I'll ultimately, like, I, I just don't know. I haven't met anyone yet that says, yeah, like, once a month, I go and rotate my portraits on my face, man. I change out the hands, you know. I just want to change it up. No one ever has said that shit to me. Never. And I'm like, mm, that's because it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Right. So, most of this shit winds up in the junk drawer, and I am happy to be the one that does, it's not going to take them out. Right. You know, for So, that was one of the benefits of keeping them in the uh, in the package, man. Yeah. I didn't have to worry about stuff that came out and didn't come out. Right. But now, yeah, now it's another world. It's a different world. You know? Those uh, repulsor rays, by the way, what, they seem to have a little bit of a, of a curvature to them. At least the one in my package does. The repulsor ray. Uh, the blue, the blue that's coming out of the one hand. Yes. The hand. Yeah, okay, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It kind of, I don't know if it melted a little bit in the packaging, but they kind of do a right angle thing going on there. I mind up. Dude. Let's see here. Are yours perfectly straight? They look pretty okay there. Yeah, they. mine look pretty. This one has a bit of a... Um, Lean? Of a, yeah, it's kind of like... Yeah. Shit. He shoots That's around corners. Yeah, put those shoot around. yeah, it does it does have a, like a little bit of lean. But I, what I noticed about a lot of these uh extraneous pieces, like the Deadpool had uh two swords that came in it, and even though they were apart, they weren't you know, they were in the package by themselves, one of them was still kind of like, you know, a little bit cockeyed. So I twisted them back into place. I wasn't so heartbroken about that that I couldn't get over it, but still there's, there's, there's ways, there's sometimes better ways to do it. I'm not going to complain too much. This particular figure for me, I'm going to give this a six and a half. It, it doesn't hit, it doesn't hit seven for me. That's a two cheese. I don't want to influence your opinion, sir. I don't want to influence your opinion, but what, on an overall, what are you thinking about right now? What do you think this guy gets? Okay. So, uh, I, if you take the head off, and put the other head on. Okay. Uh, to me, it's it's a, it looks really yes. If you put that head on him, I feel like he's an eight. But I feel with what he has right now, he's a seven. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, it looks like he's. I hate to say it, but he has. It looks like he has a penis hanging down between his uh, eyes. <laughs> um. I mean, uh, <laughs> a metallic, a metallic segmented penis. Sorry. You made me cough. <laughs> you made me cough, man. Damn it! I'm about to lose my shit just now. <laughs> He's funny. got those weird sunglasses on too, which is weird. Let's look at this portrait with Tony real quick. Is it just me? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. This is not me being funny. And I don't know how much you can see through your package. I'm gonna try and put it up here to the camera and let everybody take a look. But they went for like a darker peach, like a darker yeah. look under his eyes. Yeah. He looks almost drunkish. Yeah, I hear you. It is a funny thing that they did there, right? It is, and and why is that funny? I think you and I both know, uh, probably what will never come out in the MCU, but the comics always had him battling alcoholism. Right, right. He was he was a big time drunk, from my uh, recollection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. During the Ramita Layton stuff. Yeah, that's right. So I'm 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 wondering maybe if that's you know someone said you know what maybe we should make him look a little lit. He might have forgot his SPF 50. I don't know, you know. It could have been that. could have been just that he's out in the sun too long and whatever. It's just not making it work anymore. Could have been a lot of things. He's a little emotional that he's got that stupid head on his uh... <laughs> That's what it is. You just see him pissed off that he's got to wear the stupid green. <laughs> the green look on his head. <laughs> All right. So, and, and so I would say, you know, in terms of oh my God, wait, no, character likeness, you gave that, I mean, you gave it an overall score, but character likeness, what would you say this is in character likeness? Uh, as far as Silver Centurion? Yeah, as far as the Silver Centurion is concerned. I'm not super familiar with that character. Uh, okay. I, I defer to you on that. Yeah, I, I, again, Silver Centurion is just another augmentation of the Iron Man outfit that was in silver. I mean, for the most part. Um, it was just like this. As far as my recollection was concerned, it was the uh, triangular version of the um arc reactor that he had in there i have no recollection at all ever in any of the books and i could be wrong man but i'm on with mark mckenna he has no recollection of the green eyed silver centurion either so that could be some sort of variant that the guys 
at Marvel Select we're playing with, or uh, maybe something obscure from the comic books. I intend to ask our friends at Diamond Select about that particular one. Says I couldn't get an answer from the artist, so he has no idea. He's as confused as I am. We confused the artist, guys. That's not good. That's not good. We confused him. Uh, but overall, in terms of Silver Centurion, I think exactly what you said. Switch out the portrait on the heads here so that the the portrait is more classical. I don't hate the Tony Stark uh, portrait at all. Um, he just looks pissed off and half lit. He just looks like he's half in the bag right now. And then, you know, there's a couple of, of, of questionable choices on the, the, the color patterns for some of these uh, repulsor explosions. But um, overall, definitely a two cheese effort for me. Definitely a high six and a half. I like the figure. I love its displayability. Uh, given the fact that it has this channel here that will hold it up in place, you don't have to prop it up against something. Not every figure comes with one of those, just FYI. Um, so, you know, you, that's displayability. I, I, I'll give it a high eight. Uh, dynamic fluidity. That's another one I use. Is it dynamic? Well, it's a damn, it's a toy. So we can make this as dynamic as we want to be. You can give that all the way up to 10 as far as I'm concerned. So the paint and finish is the last thing I like to look at. And I know it's much harder for Mark to see because um, his is not in the box. Um, not out of the box yet. But I, I I like that they went sort of this flat enamel grayish look. It's not silver per se. I don't mm. know. Silver to me denotes it's going to have a little bit of that shiny flux. I probably would have preferred the paint and finish that we have a little bit more of that. To exemplify the metallic nature. Of it all, I don't want it to be a muted gray. It's not skin, so it's a it's a metal it's a metal base in here. That's that's probably my only critique as far as that's concerned. I'm also really interested to ask the guys what that backpack is for, or or where that came into play, like which books they were using. I think it would be awesome if they put what the genesis of the sculpt of the toy was on the back of their book, on the back of their box, like yeah. from. From book number blah, 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 you know, Mark McKenna, da, 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 you know what I'm saying? It would be great if they sort of correlated what they end came up with with the piece that they were looking at for the reference. That's all. I, I'll tell you, though, if you look at the back of the box, they got the classic head on them there. They do. They do. Got the silly sunglasses on. They do. Actually, they don't even show you the green one. Yeah. But I prefer, <laughs> I prefer that, the back of the box one. I absolutely do. So, all right, so the pink one is a chest explosion. Yeah. What, what about the yellow? They don't have any. Are the yellow in there? I guess they are. Yeah, that, this is it. This is this is from his arms. The, oh, the, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's basically replaces the fist and just comes out of the explosion, which to me that would be probably the more uh, classic look for uh, an Iron Man sort of firepower. The repulsor rays, yeah. Right, the repulsor rays. The blue I'm not so familiar with, but, you know, hey. Yeah. Beggars and choosers, that kind of thing. Let me slide this up here. All right, cool. So in the uh, in the overall, I think we gave this around seven, eight. So it's a two cheese for me. It was right around the same for Mark. Yeah. So it hits good points. Doesn't hit all the points. Definitely has some question marks. We would love to have answers. Uh, as far as people purchasing this, does this need to be in your collection? I don't know. Do you need to have all the Iron Man? If you need to have all the Iron Man, then yes, it needs to be in your collection. Me personally, if I was looking at this next to something that was a slightly more expensive, like the classic Iron Man statue we're about to unbox, I probably would save my money and buy the classic statue. That's just me. But if you're a uh, action figure guy and you like portrait swapping, you like extra pieces. Uh, this is definitely a cool piece for you to have. This Iron Man, Silver Centurion, Diamond Select, Marvel Select Toys. Look, that's Mark McKenna. He reviewed it for you. That guy. Dude, this has been uh, amazing. Getting to learn uh, more about you, getting to hang out with you. I want to do it again. And I really appreciate you uh, hanging out with me tonight, man. Thanks a lot. Of course, man. You're, you're, you're a good friend, man. I appreciate your time. All right, Collector fam, that is it. Congratulations right, to Mark McKenna for making it like an hour and a half into this thing and dealing with me for the entire time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to chop this thing up and put it online. If you ever need to get a hold of Mark, boop, right there is where we're going to put his uh, 
what do we want? We're going to put the Instagram link up here. We'll put uh, down here. We'll put, you know, website link. And uh, there isn't an email address I'm going to give you. So you have to contact him if you want something done. And he is more than happy to accept commissions from you guys. So Tony the Torek.